everybody! So today we're going to be doing a test on the new infallible total coverage L'Oreal Paris 24 hour foundation and it looks like this. I got mine in number 304. They didn't have like a huge variety of colors with this foundation and I have had it for about three weeks now. I've had it for a while. I've been testing it out and I have a lot of opinions about this particular foundation. But I decided to go ahead and put it on today and show you guys what it does throughout the day. So when you open it up, it does have kind of a medical tube like, which is pretty awesome. It's really precise when you put some on your finger. If you can see, it's a very like moussey consistency. So it's a thick foundation. It also says on the bottle that it is a full coverage 24 hours and it's also for your face and body so that's a very interesting claim. I would assume a foundation that's for your face and for your body is very high coverage so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put it on my face real quick and show you how it goes on. So I've already washed and primed my face for the morning. I did exfoliate my face this morning with Philosophy's um, microbeads. I've noticed with this foundation that you really have to exfoliate your face or else it will show any kind of dry patches that you have on your face. I have extremely oily face but this foundation will accentuate anything that is different on your face at all. So what I'm going to do is just put it on one section of my face here and you kind of have to work fast because it dries really, really quick, so don't spray it out until you're ready. I'm going to use a brush on this side, and then I'll use my blender on this side so that you guys can see what it does with either or. the brush side and you can see a big difference it does cover up really well what I do is if I have an area that has you know darker spots I just kind of tap it in that area to cover up those areas but yeah it does cover up pretty well you can see this side of my face still has the scarring and all that and this side of my face does not it's, it just looks like a really nice clean canvas so now I'm going to go in on the other side and show you what that side looks like with a bunch so you can see the difference of the application process. So as you can see, it goes on really, really quick. It's not a lot of fuss and maintenance with this foundation, but you do have to work fast in order for it to not dry and then have to start all over because once it dries out, it will just kind of sit on your face. And so you need to work quick to get the foundation where you want it. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the full face. So now that you've seen how it goes on, I'm gonna go ahead and go and talk to my husband before he goes to work. I'm gonna go have a little bit of coffee, put the rest of my makeup on, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like with makeup on. It is exactly 6.10 in the morning. There we go, 6.10. So I'm going to go do that and I shall be back so you can see what it looks like and by that time it should be starting to settle and I don't know if you can see it on my forehead there but it's already starting to settle on some of the dry spots that I have on my forehead so it does do weird stuff like that but I shall be back and show you what it looks like with makeup. Alright all right, guys, so this I'll is what it looks okay. like with all the makeup on except for the lipstick. I don't have a lipstick on yet and I'm going to go ahead and just show you the new infallible paint lipstick from L'Oreal. This is in the same line that all launched at the same time. And so here's the lipstick and I've got mine in 310 Topless. I have another color too but it's in my purse and I think my purse is in my car so we're just going to try this one on so you can see how this goes on and I'll just wear it all day as well. So there's Topless. It's a really pretty color. So it has like a little dip in the doe foot where it grabs the lipstick. It really helps when you're putting it on your lips. It's really nice. 
This stuff does last for a really long time. It fades very gradually. It doesn't do anything weird on your lips. So I like this. And I'll show you what it looks like in about five-ish hours. And then as for the foundation, today, like I told you, I did exfoliate my face this morning. I know that this foundation does some weird stuff on my face throughout the day. And it didn't take very long for that to happen today. So as I was putting on some contour today, I was rubbing the brush on my forehead and it kind of took it away. Now, I had a cup of coffee with my husband before I started putting on my makeup, so it was about maybe 15 minutes before I started after I put the foundation on, so it was really dry, and it did kind of rub it away on my forehead, and now I have some really weird like little spots on my forehead of foundation. It's kind of like spotty on my forehead, and then this always happens with this foundation, but let me zoom in on my eyes so you can see that. So, as you can see, it's already gathering here and here in the areas and I cannot do anything about that. It's already dry and it's, it won't, I can't touch that. So that's going to be there all day long and you'll see how that kind of pro progresses through the day. And also, you can see in my nose area, it's already gathering there. I also have an issue here in this area. So those are the areas that I have issues with here, here, and here. So by the time I come home for lunch, you'll be able to see where it starts gathering in some weird spots here. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't do that great with other makeups. I don't really press hard while I'm putting on other makeups, like with my brushes and stuff. I just kind of graze, so it shouldn't really move around, but it does for me on my face. And I have tried this foundation a few different ways. Like I said, I've had it for about three weeks now. So I tried it with my lotions, my primers, and then I put the foundation on and then I set it. That didn't work for me. And then I've tried it with just my lotions, my foundation, and no concealers. And without setting it, that didn't work for me. I've also tried it with mixing it with a little bit of like a face oil with this. Um, uh, Tarte face oil to see if maybe that would help with the dry spots that that was a big mistake so <laughs> this is just the best way to show you how it works on my face I don't know that it will work this way with anybody else but we'll go ahead and go through the day so you can see how it progresses on my face and what you guys see at the end of the day and what I see at the end of the day because sometimes the camera will show you um, a better view of things than what it actually is so I'm, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about within the camera and get a better view of how this foundation works on my face because I don't like it but I'm gonna wear it today it's Friday so I figured I'm gonna wear it today and show you what it looks like so I'll be back in my lunch hour I'll show you the time so you know what time it is and then we'll talk about what it does so I'm gonna go ahead and go to work we'll talk to you guys later Bye. okay hi guys I am back I am on my lunch break I wanted to show you what the foundation looks like it's now one o'clock in the afternoon so far the foundation has been sitting really well I haven't gotten too oily for the most part uh, the foundation has started rubbing off here on my chin and then kind of here on the side and then on this side too you can see them a little bit more as well and then on my nose my nose it's starting to rub off a little bit because my nose is starting to get a little oily and I do see it settling in my lines in my forehead and today it's not really settling on the lines in my nose but I do have some dry patches here on my eyes and it's definitely catching that and I wonder if you can see that in the camera there and as of right now, it is catching like some dry spots that I have here on my face. And then there's some redness here on my nose and I haven't been blowing my nose or anything today so it shouldn't be there, but it does do that. And if I do touch my face, it kind of comes off. So it's not as full coveragey at six hours, but we still have another four hours to go and then I'll show you at the end of the day what it looks like for me. So. So far, it's doing okay. I'm still not fully impressed with this foundation, but this is why I show you, so you can make up your own mind if you want to try it or not. I do like the fact that it doesn't have like that foundation-y feel on your face, but as the day goes by and my face gets a little bit more oily at the end of the day, I can definitely feel it on my face, but as of right now, it still just feels the same way it did this morning. It just looks a little bit different because it did oxidize just a little bit, and it is starting to spread out a little bit more. 
I forgot, we're doing a test on the lipstick as well. At the beginning of the day, I started off with Topless number 310. It wore off at about three hours in, but I had soup at work, so that's to be expected. Right after I ate the soup at 10 o'clock, I went ahead and put on the 312 Nude Star. So I'll go ahead and reapply this so you can see that it's not much, there's not much of a change within, within three hours. There we go. So it's really pretty. It wears off just like the Topless does, as long as you're not eating soup. So this will probably be on my lips for the rest of the day. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and go now. All right, guys, guys so bit, it is the end of my night. It is now, it's really not the end of my night, but it's the end of my makeup night. I'm about to take this off, get in the shower, get into some comfies, and start watching a movie on Netflix with my husband. So I am done with this. It is now 5.30 in the evening which is not that late, but I've had this makeup on for a really long time and I'm ready to take it off. So, just so you know, it still does not look terrible when you're looking at me face to face if you're, you know, normal talking distance from me, which is where most of the time people are. If you just look at me, it looks good. If, you, if I look at myself in the mirror, which I'm doing now, it doesn't look bad. If you get close, you can see dry patches on my face. You can see spots on my face where it's faded off. I mean, and it's supposed to be a 24 hour foundation. So I don't consider this to be a 24 hour foundation for my particular skin, which I do have oily, oily skin. So things break down on my face a little bit faster than on other people that have normal or even dry skin. I would not really recommend this foundation for dry skin because like I said, it does accentuate the dry patches in your face. So this is almost probably going to be suited for somebody with more to normal skin. If you have dry skin, I would definitely put an oil in with it and then blend it out that way. That would probably work way better for you. If you have oily skin, it's going to be sufficient. It's going to be okay for you. It's not my favorite. This infallible total coverage foundation is one of the better ones for me in the uh, infallible line. I have tried the other two, the matte. I did not like the matte and I did not like the, I can't remember if it was dewy or glow infallible I can't remember but I tried the other two and I didn't like those ones so this one is the better for me of the three but it's not my favorite I think it may be a little bit different in the summer months and I may return back to it in the summer and retry it out again and see how it works on my face but now that the winter has come and it's a little bit more drier outside it's not the best for my face so now I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to take a clean pad and I'm going to wipe off the makeup on one side of my face so you guys can see where the coverage is on my face after, what is it, like 10 hours? I can't remember what time I started this morning. I won't remember until I go back into the editing. So let me go ahead and I'm going to wipe off the makeup on this side of my face so you can see the difference here. I'm not going to wipe off my eye makeup, just the makeup itself. And you can already see the redness on that side. So I did rub it off here and now you can see the difference from this side here where you can see the redness and all that. And from this side, the redness and the marks on my face are starting to come through on this side, but it is passable. I mean, I would still feel comfortable going out with this side of my face the way it is at the 10 and a half hours. I just wouldn't consider it to be a 24 hour type of foundation. So that is my conclusion to this. If you can see the difference there, I don't hate it. I just don't love it. I would give it, if, it, if I was rating it from one to 10, I would give it about a six and a half. It's something that I will, again, like I said, try out in the summer months to see if it does better on my face. But right now, I'm not like fully impressed with it. It's okay. So I would try it out if you have normal skin. I would, if you want to try it out if you have dry skin, definitely use an oil. And for you oily skin girls, it's just going to vary depending on how oily your skin gets throughout the day. The lipstick is absolutely amazing. I love them. They do fade away. When they do fade away, it fades away 
pretty gradually, so I wouldn't complain about them at all. They're not very expensive. I do have two of their infallible pink eye creams, and I guess I can swatch those for you. I will film something here in the future with a get ready with me and use them so you can see how they work if you would like. And then we can talk about them then. But I've got two of them. I've got the one in Sunset Fire, which is kind of like an orangey uh, pink color. And then I've got this one here in Cool Ivory. And there's two sides to them. So they on twist, they have a doe foot in them and you get two different colors and here are the colors that I have there. They're really pretty. You can put them on your eyes with a brush or with your fingers. You can use them as a base and then you know top them with different kind of colors or you can use them alone. I've done all three. I think that they work really really well. You can use them with your fingers or a brush like I said and once they dry, they dry down really well and they stay on your eyes forever. People that get really oily eyelids, I would definitely set them with an eyeshadow because these are a cream base, but they're really, really pretty. They do set really, really fast, so be aware of that. And they do have a whole bunch of different colors in their line. I just grabbed those two because I wanted to try them out. And I do like them. So again, like I said, I will use them in an upcoming video so you can see how they work, but that is everything I have for you guys today. That's my review. And now that my face is kind of settled down from me wiping it, you can kind of see the difference now. So there you go. So that's my review guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions about this particular foundation, the eyeshadows or the lip creams that I used today. I really do like the lip creams and I do like the eyeshadows a lot. Foundation again, like I said, I'd give it like a six and a half. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and put it down in the comment section or else go ahead and watch other people's reviews on it as well because everybody's skin is different. So you may want to get a lot of opinions on it before you go and purchase it. It's not a very expensive foundation. I paid $10 and 95 cents I think was at Walmart for it but my Walmart is very different when it comes to where I live and it, I think people have paid up to like $14 for this foundation so it will vary in price depending so it may be something that you want to look into if you don't want to spend that much money on a foundation and not like it. Alright guys I hope you guys have a nice weekend and I shall talk to you guys next Saturday. Bye!